Uh, Logan Soy, I think the fix is in for right-wing media to combat the weird tag. I've noticed Ruben and Tim Toole posting over-the-top crazy weird shit on their Twitter feeds. Seems they're leaning into this and trying to obfuscate or belittle the weird tag in some way. You, you know what? Let's do this. This is like the, go, I'm going to go get COVID to <laughs> fight COVID. <laughs> This, this I found fascinating. I saw this en route to, uh, I was going to play softball last night, and uh, I think I saw this on the way to softball. Um, he posted it yesterday at 10 a.m. Here is uh, Tim Poole posting a, um, a graphic of uh, Donald Trump in a, um, a, a night suit holding on to a rabbit. And... Um, he quotes, you'll never know or want loneliness again, Trump said. The world uh, was cruel to you, but you have Trump now. Now, he did not make this. Clearly AI. No, 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 no. It's clearly AI, but I don't even know that Tim Pool made this. Oh, no. I probably when stole. you see this, you're first rate. Keep it up. Because we have seen time and time again before AI, of hundreds of Trump supporters making memes like this, putting Trump on like strapping, you know, bodies and, 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 and Trump as Jesus and Trump as like uh, George Washington. And uh, I mean, over and over again. So Tim thinks he's being smart here. Now, part of the problem and the challenge that Tim has when he does this stuff is that he's not smart. And so, um, he thinks he's like leaning into this and reappropriating weirdness. But what he's doing is reminding us that actually this is very believable. I know Tim is putting on a show. I've seen a couple of the tweets he's been doing lately, and it's quite clear that he, he has been doing that. I hadn't seen Ruben because he blocked me. And Tim's doing this as a way of like, because he thinks if he appropriates the, uh, reappropriates the weirdness, it will in some way make it uh, less, I guess, uh, poignant. But the fact is, is that he's reminding everybody that there's a lot of conservatives who actually buy into these type of like pictures. Yeah, this like is they, a genre. This is, this is a genre. This is, this is what, you know, birth Q anon. And then if you scroll down, and this is what's really sort of funny. Um, somebody says, y'all get mad when Dems call you weird and you post things like this. And uh, Tim writes, I have never been mad at Democrats calling me weird. I'm trying to be as weird as possible every day. Now, genuinely weird people, like in the way that we talked about the distinction uh, yesterday, weird people who celebrate their nonconformity and know that they're out, you know, a little bit different than the norm. They're not. They know that they're weird and they don't have to try and be weird. They, they just simply feel confident in themselves and they're not putting on a show. That's what's like genuinely like fun weirdness. Yeah, they're being themselves and interpreting the feedback. Whereas Tim is like, I'm going to try to be weird to market myself. I'm going to try to be weird now. And then he writes, as soon as the Democrats ran the line weird, I was ecstatic and doubled down. And he doesn't realize he thinks he's doubling down on like cool, fun weirdness. But in fact, what he's doing is showing just how out of touch he is with normal people, well-adjusted and even weird people who are, you know, capable of realizing, like, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't follow the norm. He's just being, like, creepy weird, not fun weird. And he doesn't get this in the same way that, like, he didn't get it, like, when he went and, like, here's $20,000 to give your skate park. And everybody was like, dude, go away. He had to go double down and buy the thing for a million dollars or $800,000 or whatever it was. In the same way that he gets shown up by Emma on his show and then very uh, slanderously, I think actionably in terms of like uh, lawsuits, yeah, goes man. on and calls her a, uh, a pedophile. Um, I mean, he's creepy. 
He's creepy weird, not fun weird. He's creepy weird, not celebratory weird. And when he doubles down on his creepy weirdness, just that, that his reaction to this is to double down and I'll show them. He thinks he's being funny, but the only other explanation is he's that and just it's a, it's a grift. It's a scam. Yeah. And he knows it's going to get him attention. And he does. He gets a bunch of views for it. And that's the way he, he creates his brand. But it is fascinating to watch these creepy people try and react like a non-creepy person would. Well, yeah. The, what's funny is they could, and I, I'm not the per, first person to say this, but they could just say, like, it, it's weird to care about Joe Biden's inflation or all these other things, but they have to say, like, yeah, you think that's weird? How about all these pictures of, like, trans people having meltdowns that I have saved on my camera reel? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, you're weird. Amazing. Really amazing. Impressive. See, so this is why you guys don't get invited places. It's true. It's so true. It's so true. Uh, we went from being the people who get invited places to being proudly weird. Hey, so we all remember the Supreme Court's ruling on Trump's presidential immunity case. Well, get this. The leader of the Heritage Foundation think tank has said the second American Revolution will be bloodless if the left allows it to be all sparked by the Supreme Court ruling on presidential immunity. Well, Ground News found nearly 50 sources reporting on it with zero coverage coming from the right. Why? Well, going through these articles, you can see most of them tie this project to Trump. Like this report from the DCCC writing Trump's so-called Project 2025 manifesto advocates for a nationwide abortion ban, quote, silencing his political enemies and more. With presidential elections not too far away, this is an extremely important story, and you wouldn't know about it unless you intentionally diversify where you get your news from, which is why Ground News created their blind spot feed. It's to surface major stories with little reporting coming from either the right or the left. Our longtime sponsor really simplifies empowering yourself with knowledge so we're fully aware where our information is coming from and how that influences our reporting or lack thereof an important mission under our current political climate. Best of all, they're offering my viewers 40% off the same unlimited access Vantage plan that gets me access to all their features. So head to ground.news slash majority or scan my QR code to help support an independent news platform working towards a more transparent media landscape. Hey folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.